engaging the enemy run. in Info War Alex and smashing Jones them. And the but he thinks he's part of the power structure because he's a reasonable guy. He thinks the system is reasonable. He is a helpless, pathetic, weak-minded, dangerous jellyfish. Because in this republic, he can vote to take my rights away. Because this republic is no longer a republic. It is a democracy where two wolves and a sheep can vote on what's for dinner. Now, there's been some new developments, and I want to get Anthony Gucciardi in here in a little while. We set that up earlier, and I don't know if he remembers before the show. I told him I wanted to, him to pop in. So let's uh, go run around the building and uh, find him as quickly as possible. Because I saw the article up on Infowars.com, and it reminded me that I wanted him on at 1.30. Uh, the article is Victory, Connecticut. Cops suspended after calls for home gun confiscation. At first, they were going to suspend the guy that exposed it. Now it looks like this is breaking uh, because I wanted to report on what was happening this morning. And now I guess he went and looked into it and found that a Connecticut police officer was suspended this week after viral reports exposed his public defense of door-to-door -door gun confiscation. So they were going to suspend the other people involved before telling the truth. Now they've suspended the other guys. So that's a really good, good, good news. But that's because the system doesn't want to stir everybody up. The average cop doesn't want to confiscate guns and knows that guns and law-abiding citizens hands lower crime. You heard cops we talked to today in Austin. Uh, they don't want to have a debate, the politicos above this. They don't want us to force out the debate the military is being trained to take our guns. They don't want to force the debate that special paramilitary police are being trained to confiscate guns openly. Because then there'll be a debate about it. I know this is elementary. And then we will win. That's why they have to continue to deny, deny. What's the famous Bill Clinton quote about when he would get caught cheating and stealing and raping? He'd say, deny, deny, deny. That's like there was a tape of it. All you do is you just deny, deny, deny. It doesn't matter if they got you on video doing it. You just deny, deny, deny. <laughs> there's no NSA. There's no Solyndra. There's no Benghazi. There's nothing going on. Nothing happening. And then he's a swindler. He takes 53% last time I checked last month of the hundreds of millions of dollars his filthy charity brings in for little black kids worldwide, you know, Haiti and places. And then he spends it on wide-body jet aircraft fleet, basically, multiple jets, lavish apartment complex, you know, apartments he lives in, penthouses, and, and, and paying for his life. I don't have a charity. I don't have some kind of political 501c3. I probably should and do like the Salvation Army, spend 90% of it actually on the charity and 10% pay for administrative. You don't have to spend, you know, 40% of your money paying to the Federal Reserve, wasting money you bring in to fund the operation, then you got to pay taxes on it. Like, we should set up a tax-exempt arm and have our books be public. Because notice the IRS is trying to stop libertarian groups and patriot groups and pro-life groups from having any tax exemption. Because if we all go do that, it's over for them. That makes them have 40% more money out of the gates than patriot groups. Because we don't go get tax exemptions. We're like, oh, we're not going to game the system like that. We've got to, ladies and gentlemen. I, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to get with the lawyers and create a tax exempt arm. Why should I get 40% of the money comes in here? I mean, when I buy equipment around here, I have to pay taxes on it. I mean, I've had years where I didn't pay myself last year. Last year, I lost money because I wanted to put into expansion and crew. Well, I just put more money in the bank, and you know, I have some money there for backup to fund stuff, run the place three or four months if we ever got totally you know, shut down by something. That's not very much emergency backup. That's like quarter tank. You're going on a big road trip. But I'm just thinking, why not play their game? Because only they're allowed to really be tax exempt with all their operations. Can you imagine if I had some charity that raised enough money to have a jet, and I wasn't giving it to the little black kids? Bill Clinton could be destroyed with this information. The reason I bring Bill Clinton back up is that that criminal... With his criminal wife, we're going to be hearing, oh, you're against her because she's a woman and a lesbian. Give me a break. What a distraction. Can you imagine a woman being attracted to her? I mean, she's like a demonic snapping turtle. I just, I, I, just, I don't mean to get off into that. I just, it's disgusting. I mean, I would not walk. I would run from Hillary Clinton. And I don't mean to get off into that. I mean, it's now reported that she's got a string of girlfriends. We already knew that. And then... Hillary is even more of a sex-crazed addict than Bill Clinton. 
I mean, she makes the Wolf of Wall Street look tame in comparison with the reports I've been getting. Uh, <laughs> so, getting serious, Anthony, before we go back on the street with Jakari Jackson and Leanne McAdoo, on the Second Amendment case, this story we broke with Mikhail Thalen three days ago has become viral and is in the Connecticut news. A lot of stuff's gone back and forth in this. To, uh, to, uh, to boil it down, quantify it for people. Your video reports on Infowars.com for radio listeners. Exactly. So we put out this exclusive report. There was a police officer from Connecticut who went out and reached out to us. We contacted him in this exclusive interview, in a text-based interview at first. And he's talking about a police officer in the area who said he would do anything pretty much to go and kick down people's doors to confiscate guns, that he would like to do it to this guy. This guy was actually former Navy, I'm sorry, in the beginning, who contacted us. So he was talking about a local police officer who wanted to confiscate weapons. And this was after the call in Connecticut, after Sandy Hook, to actually go around and start, you know. And there's a video of other police and firefighters that say they've talked to the same guys. Yeah, so they were saying this is rampant in the police force and that orders from the you know, top are saying, Assault weapons are bad and everything, and many cops are going into a frenzy now, blaming gun owners for Sandy Hook and saying they can't wait to take their guns from home to home, you know, confiscation, kicking down doors. Which is now happening, because if you don't register, they confiscate. Yes, exactly. So we did this saying, look how insane this is, not even really promoting it. In fact, it was my fault. Mikhail wrote this story doing a great job, and I didn't even really promote it. And then I wake up the next morning and said 18,000 shares just on Facebook. So it went super major viral, like beyond viral. And that was just on StoryLeak. It's even higher on InfoWars. And then StoryLeak.com. Yeah, my, uh, my website, and it's also up on InfoWars.com. And then I started hearing, you know, McCall was texting me over and over, hey, the police force is responding now. Officials are responding. I'm getting messages. You know, they're putting him on leave. They're investigating it. All of this from one piece. And this is now major national news. And it highlights not just the fact that he was put on leave. That's, that's great and everything. That's nothing. There's an internal investigation on this guy, but it's not about him at all. It's not about attacking this individual. It's about attacking the attack on our Constitution and Bill of Rights. Well, I mean, look, if they want to form an army of cops for gun confiscation, A, it's unconstitutional. B, it's out of control. C, man, I'm not looking forward to the Civil War. It's going to start. And that's what they've geared up for is to go from Al-Qaeda to Patriots. But they're going to lose. It's going to go offensive once they start the fight. No, because you think about it. I mean, I don't want this. I, I, I mean, literally, I'm not just up here saying you better watch it. The system wants the two Chinese or, or, or Siamese fighting fish to kill each other. So Soros and the globalists can come in after the wreckage and reorganize the country. That is the plan to make Obama part two of Lincoln. I mean, they say that. Will you guys queue up uh, from Russia to love the Siamese fighting fish? Go ahead. I mean... Guess who's for gun confiscation? That spineless weasel that Jakari talked to that has no base in anything, has no foundation of knowledge. He's just saying, well, I think guns are bad. Those are the kind of people that- We don't want them, but they are taking them for oh, safety. Yeah. He's like, well, yeah. No, it's double think. No, they don't take them, except they do take them. Well, well the cop has- The well, NSA is not a problem. We're slaves. If the cop has it, that's okay. Those are the type of people that are for this. And no wonder we're beating them back over and over again. The real media is succeeding. This is a message of- Yeah, it's a bunch of coward chicken necks following criminal globalists who are weak, don't have moral high ground. If we just stand up, it's over. Exactly. I mean, I'm sick of these people. I will not be ruled by a bunch of chicken neck scum. And it's like you were saying, the real liberals, though, that aren't like that guy, they actually have some foundation. They're like, no, I actually like guns. You know, Second Amendment's good. That guy's a complete weasel. And it, there's so many people like him. It's it's actually we've been down there, myself, you, and others doing reports. And you saw Jakari. One person out of hundreds was anti-gun. They yeah. talked to. I, I mean, these are like people going, "I'm liberal, but I bought guns and I like your show. What does that mean?" Yeah. And I go, I mean, it's literally women, men, black, they white, can't old, it young. Out. It's like, why do I like you? Yeah. Oh my God. Because they identify. Because they want freedom. Because yeah. you're not a chicken neck. They identify with liberalism because they think it's cool, but they're actually on the real media side. They're on the real third party of reality side. They just don't know that because they want to be cool with their friends still who are trendy and they want to identify as liberal. That's basically what it is. And they don't like Obama, but some of their friends think he's cool because he makes funny jokes on television. So they think he's funny. You know what I mean? That's a world better than those Republicans. Yeah, exactly. And, and the Republicans are bad people, but they'll still identify and say, yeah, I actually like the Second Amendment, the Constitution. I actually like liberty. But oh, I'm not, no, I'm not into any of that weird conservative stuff or any of that. Uh, and the truth is, if they want to be Democrats, they should go take the Democrats over. Yeah. And make it more like them. The truth is, the establishment has Democrats and Republicans under their control. The only shot we've got is taking over the Republican Party. And we've got a shot at it. That's right. We are so screwed if we don't do that. It's going to be civil war.
Maybe not this year, maybe 10 years down the road, maybe five years, but